What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Last Laugh Podcast. I'm here with Z. We're going to be doing a little film review over Michael Mayer, the Raiders draft pick from this year. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving. We got it. We got it. Got it. Mess with the squad. You try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. All of my bros. We got it. Got it. They know for sure. We got it. Got it. Been on a roll. We got it. Got it. We cannot go without it. Got it. Mess with the squad. You try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. Been on a roll. We got it. Got it. We cannot go without it. Got it. All right, get to do some Raider stuff again. Yes, sir. All right, so we're here to, uh, we're gonna be going over Michael Mayer, uh, tight end out of Notre Dame, 6'4", 265. Uh, we picked him in the second round with pick thirty five. Um, he's one of the best Notre Dame tight ends ever. I'm pretty sure he either broke the school record in reception yards for tight ends, or he got set or something like that. So he's obviously he has some history behind him. He's a great tight end. He's the best one coming into last year's draft or this year's draft. So I think it was a great pick for us, and I'm excited to talk about him a little bit and go over him. Well, yeah, but I mean, before we get even into it, you lost Darren Waller. You needed someone to replace him, kind of like we just did the Dal- or just did the Luke Schoonmaker film review for the Cowboys. Go watch that if you haven't. Um, same boat. We lost our number one tight ends, had to replace them, made smarter choice in the draft here. This is going to be well, a shorter, shorter clips because um, we don't need to say much. I mean, this guy's so set, like he's solid. Like the Raiders, I think Raiders fans know what they're getting um, from the outside looking in. I mean, he's he's really good, very smart pick. So lead us through this big. All right, and I, before we start, to back what you were saying, we each lost our number one tight end. And we lost our number one and our number two tight end. Darren Waller goes to the Giants, and Foster Moreau goes to New Orleans. So we had to we had to get a tight end in this year's draft, like no questions asked. So I'm excited. All right, so so in this game, uh, big time game against USC. So obviously last year Notre Dame first year coach, they were struggling a little bit. Michael Mayer was literally the guy. Like they didn't look at anyone else. The wide receivers weren't really that good. Uh, running backs, okay. So Michael Mayer was the guy. All right. So I'm pretty sure he's either – I think he's on the bottom of the screen or at the top of the screen. He's the third wide receiver right here. He's in a, a two-point stance. So, no, he's at the top. So he's running right there in between those two USC defenders at the top, you see. Yeah, so it looks like zone. Looks like a soft zone. Yep. So he's pretty much running like a, a corner route to the end zone. All right. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> I mean he just that's the exam that's literally the perfect example of going up and get the ball for a big boy. He's two sixty five. So this is another look at the play. And just for another guy outside of it that's not even a Raiders fan or a Notre Dame fan, can't stand Notre Dame. Me either. You get this guy's elite route running for two sixty five. He gets off he gets separation. That he can fight off as long as you fade. Dude, any smaller D B safety He's just going to manhandle him. And to have the ball skills, to turn around for the ball, not put his hands up to the last minute, catch, finish, that was great ball skills. So right there was showing you just how good this guy is. I mean, that was the best thing you could show because you need a physical presence. We'll just let that play through again. I think you need a physical presence at tight end, um, but especially with a guy like Garoppolo, you used to Kittle. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy right here, not to sound like a Cowboys homer or anything, it looks like Des Bryant tracking a ball in the end zone on a fade. Like, you know as well as I do, Des Bryant was one of the most unstoppable red zone, end zone <laughs> threats the league had seen in the early 20 teens. Um, dude was just a stud, and that looks like Des Bryant coming off the football. And uh, for and I was wrong. It wasn't a corner. Route. It was pretty much like a deep yeah. fade for your for you to have your tight end running a deep fade from like the thirty yard line. Like you know that he has hands that he's pretty much your primary target. And against USC at that USC's always uh, been known for having at least a decent defense. So I mean, it's just so that he he knows how to track the ball, man. He's he's willing to go up and get it. Yeah, and I think that looks a lot very Darren Waller esque as well. Yeah, this like. Darren Waller will go get the ball like a wide receiver, dude. Darren Waller looked like a big wide receiver. 
and that's what exactly what Michael Mayer looks like. Yeah, this and biggest. what we were talking about with Schoonmaker and the Cowboys pick, not as physical off the football blocking, right? And it looks like you guys got a dual threat. Yeah, he's 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 a, he's a decent blocker, but I put a clip in here where he he's not so good. Right. So we're gonna go over. Yep, yeah, and this is it right here. All right, so I know we haven't been having you know a little technical difficulties, but if you can restart this play in the beginning. A little bit more. All right. So Michael Mayer is is on the line. Um, he's on the ball right now. So he's he's on the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's really hard to see him because the two hours he's right there. But he's pretty much he's uh blocking the DN. All right. So first thing you see, he's already two yards behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. DN already to the heels upfield. Playing his wrong responsibility, and and the DN has his hands all up in Michael Mayer's chest. I mean, he shot his hands so fast at Mayer, like he didn't even look like he didn't even react. Yeah, and here at the Last Laugh Podcast, we are just fans. We're not professionals any any means, but we played the game. We both did, not at the pro level, so you know that's why we're not experts. But we do know a thing or two about a thing or two, and we're just trying to bring fans the real aspect of what what other fans think of who they're getting, whether it be the college level or the NFL, the pros. Um, so we're giving, we always give you the, a little bit of cons with the pros, a little bit of negatives with the positives or building blocks, if you will, things that we see that they can get better at. And although he's normally a solid blocker, something like this is what he's going to need to work on in the NFL, right? Big, because you guys have, in the NFL, there's so many guys with quick hands and a great first step. He's not going to just see it every couple of games or or every just game. one guy every couple of downs. He's going to see it every single game, every single play. Mm-hmm. So what do you see in him? I'll let this play run through. All right. So, you know, and I'll give him the, you know, the benefit of the doubt because that DN looks like he's a run stopper. I mean, that's a big body DN. That doesn't look like a, a uh, that doesn't look like a pass rush type of type of guy. So. Uh, and Michael Mayer is obviously outsized, but just the way like you can't let you as a as an offense if you're blocking on offense you got to get your hands on them first. Mm-hmm. You can't let a a big D lineman like that get their hands up on you and rip you off because he squeezed the gap right there and there was nowhere for the running back to go at all. I mean there wasn't even if Mayer would have blocked him the running back didn't have much to go in anyways. But the DN got his hands into him so fast and so quick that he squeezed that gap down so fast like he didn't have a chance. The play couldn't even right. develop. All right, and then, like you said, in the NFL, he's going to be going against that every single game. Yeah. So. But the thing is, too, and, like, uh, there was technical difficulties with our film uploads, so we, we could only get these two plays. But he's we showed the first play, and we, I can build off of that. He's very physical. Even though he's with a defensive back, he's a physical presence, whether he's receiving or blocking. The other stuff, I mean, clearly the Raiders have been solid with developing tight ends over the last five to ten years. So I think they'll be fine. I think he'll be good, and I think he's exactly what you guys needed. Oh, yeah. That's and, my closing thought. And he's a great run blocker. I mean, this was just one play that I saw where I was like, all right. It kind of looked like he took the play off. He kind of, you know, he didn't really get off the ball at all. You can't do that in, in the NFL, dude. Right. Like, in the NFL, that's a two-yard loss. You know, there's a yeah. big difference between a two-yard gain and two-yard loss in the NFL. Yep. Every yard matters. Yeah, and – that's again, that's something you know, it, it's one clip out of the whole context of a game, and yeah, yeah. and everybody has negative plays on the film, or coaches wouldn't go over film, you know. Yeah. There's not one single soul in a coach's eyes that had a perfect game every single play, doesn't need to go over film. That's why they have film. So, yes, I mean, he's a great player, great draft pick. You guys did really good with Tyree Wilson, and then. Michael Mayer, um, guys that are going to be impact players for five plus years for at least for your team uh, on both sides of the ball, you know. So good draft for Oakland. I mean, Las just Vegas. good draft all around. Sorry, old head. Keep doing that. Damn, all day. Um, Las Vegas, good, good, great draft for Raider Nation, and uh, yeah, and make sure you like and subscribe. If you enjoy this content, the more likes, the more subscriptions, the more views, 
the more film we do. So Raider Nation, you supported big with the Tyree Wilson uh, clip. If you haven't seen that, please go watch that film breakdown by us. But uh, the more likes, the more subscriptions, the more we have time to do this. So that's my closing thoughts. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. Big, take us out and tell Raider Nation why it was a great pick. Raider, Ra- Raider Nation, Raider Nation, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I, I'm excited about this pick. I'm excited about our whole draft class pretty much. But, um, you know, obviously, I, it sounds like I'm really – I was hard on Michael Mayer, which I have no right to do. He's a pro, right? But um, I'm just really excited for this dude. Like, I feel like he can do big things with the Raiders. Like you said, we've had great tight ends throughout pretty much our whole history of the organization. So I think he could be the next one. Great catcher, great blocker. He's a physical dude. I'm just excited for us to to be back to what we used to be back in the day, a physical team, feisty, and disciplined. You know, we haven't had the discipline in how many years now. So I'm just excited. Raider Nation, if you could please hit that thumbs up. Give this video a like, subscribe, watch, tell your friends about it. We appreciate the support, and we'll keep getting better content out there, you know, as soon as we get off the ground, all right? And from the Last Laugh podcast, we out. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving. We got it. We got it. Got it. Mess with the squad. You try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. All of my bros. We got it. Got it. They know for sure. We got it. Got it. Been on a roll. We got it. Got it. We cannot go without it. Out it. Mess with the squad. You try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. Been on a roll. We got it. Got it. We cannot go without it. Out it.